Hi folks, this is Sally from Creative Chaos. I just wanted to do a real quick flip through of the tags that I've created so far from April 1st to April 14th. Um, I have been trying to do videos, but my video skills are really poor. <laughs> and uh, especially for short videos for some reason. And um, oh, I've lost them and I've not been able to edit them properly and just they've just been a mess. So. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm, until my skills get better, I'm going to go back to baby steps and maybe do flip-throughs um, and uh, then basically work my way up to longer videos and maybe do some journal play videos. I, I have a better time or I seem to have an easier time editing a little bit longer video than I do a short one. I don't know why that is. Anyway, having said that, uh, these are the um, tags that I've created for my uh, April tag challenge to myself. I've got days 1 through 14 here, so let's get started. Some of these um, you've probably seen on the video, previous video, but I thought we'd just start at the beginning and go over again. So this is, um, this was an image that I got out of a um, an art journal magazine. Don't know whose it was. Uh, this is background from a uh, Palm Springs Living magazine um, trim titled The Beauty of Right Now and I was just going for something really really simple and I was pleased with the colors and the way this turned out and I basically just um, uh, adjusted the looks by adding a little bit of blush and whatever on, on the woman left her basically the same. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. This one, um, uh, it got very dark on me, so I had to bring it back to a lighter color. But this is texture paste put to a stencil, background stamping. These are two uh, butterflies that I had in a collage sheet that I cut out. Um, and it's called Believe in Yourself. This one, the finished one, does not look anything like what it started out as. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even remember exactly how it started out. I know it was um, painted background, which I collaged on, and then I uh, I stenciled uh, paint on um, and uh, added numbers, did a little bit of um, playing around with the colors, uh, put a little bit of gesso on, and then um, basically the tag is quite different from anything that I normally would make so it was kind of fun I was quite pleased with it and it, the caption is I just want to make nice things this one I recorded and I lost the footage I have no idea where it went or why I lost it or anything else it again was a pre-painted tag that I had from a jelly print these are all rub-ons it's a very simple tag uh, went around the edge with dark ink and uh, did a little bit of ink splatters and uh, caption is live your life and these things here are talking about cherished love life artist there's always always and forever um, and so on I just thought it was kind of a, a simple but I, I was quite happy with the results this one um, again collage background papers uh, it got very dark I didn't like the way I had originally put on it like a, a neon pink paint on it and um, I just found it got almost muddy and I don't know why so then I had to kind of try to bring it back so this is a mask Dina Wakely mask I just stamped some text on there uh, this is a sticker and then this again is just stencil work this one I was happy with I thought it was really cute again this was um, a um, tag that I had done some jelly printing on and painting and basically I didn't do a whole lot to it I put the brown in the bottom this blue was pretty much all that it was I drew the white caps on I had some stickers that I thought were really cute put these on uh, did a little bit of stamping here uh, Sun and called it a day and I made up I thought it was cute I thought it was cute so I'm pleased with it this one was another one of those kind of hot pink ones and didn't really it was more like a hot orange didn't really like the colors so I stamped this stamp on it I'm not even sure who the stamp is by but it's a stamp set on a piece of um, pink jelly paper 
and collaged it on and the blacks weren't quite bright enough for the stamp so what I did was I played with the paint um, added light dark whatever filled in the blanks and then um, went over this image with um, a paint pen to try to make it pop better did a little bit of doodling and uh, caption is nurture creativity This one is one of a series of four. This was all done with jelly prints on the actual tags. Uh, I didn't cut out paper and apply it. I just did it on the actual tags. Um, and then I just did some stenciling, as you can see. Um, and that was about it. I liked how bright it was. I liked the white space. I tend to always fill in the white space. So I liked the white space that was not ink or that was not paint that was applied it was just white space um, yeah went around the doodling went around sorry the stenciling with some white uh, pen and this says limited edition this one is another one of that series again pretty much the same thing um, this is paint I, I uh, put paint on here and then um, dragged a uh, texture tool through it and I found it a little bit dark um, kind of grayed down the rest of this so I thought by putting in the circles that that would help again um, did some stenciling outlined it in white paint and this says create art made up quite quickly this one again same background type same procedure um, this as uh, these the stencil is from uh, what was left as a waste from a um, die that I put through my machine. Um, again, I was happy with the ways. I did a little bit of doodling, and then it says, "Dear Inner Artist, Let's Play." I thought that was I was happy with that. This one was a um, blue, basically this blue background, and uh, this is paper that I collaged on different types. Um, I put these are from a Tim Holtz stencil. Uh, I uh, sponge paint on onto the blue background, and then I found it was a little too much blue, so I wanted to brighten it up. So that's why I put in these collage pieces. And this is an image that um, I have a uh, decoupage kit, several of them actually. And um, I had this left over. It was supposed to go on a card, and then I never used it on the card, so I thought, oh well, I'll use it here. And then this just says little delights. This one um, is a stamp which I stamped on um, kind of a beige paper. Actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't beige. It was on a um, it was on a, a jelly print. I have all kinds of jelly prints which I'm trying to use up. Um, so that's what I did. I put it on here and then collaged around. You know, collaged it, um, doodled around it, drew a couple of little birds on it and uh, pretty much called it a day. Did a little bit of coloring here to get the variations in the sky and uh, it says adventure adventure awaits. This little bird is a um, Dina Wakeley bird and I thought it was really cute. I had it but it was a little little it was a little kind of just on the tag when I looked at it and I thought okay I'm going to use that so what I did was I went over I went over the freshened up the paint on it, did some doodling around the image with white gel pen, put in some additional colors, brightened them up a little bit. Um, this is uh, stenciling um, and uh, then just it says a bird does not sing because it has an answer, it sings because it has a song. And I was quite pleased with how that turned out. I've, I have this set and I don't use it very often. I should really be using it more. And then number 14 is the last in that series of jelly prints that you saw. I wanted to change it up a little bit, but again, this is this, this stencil here, washi tape, a little bit of uh, white circles around it, and uh, here I painted black, but didn't really know what to do with it, so I toyed with putting on more washi tape, and then I thought, no, it needs something at the bottom to anchor it, so I put in these, um, these uh, white circles with paint, and that was it. 
Um, so if you enjoyed this, I found it of any value, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a like, a subscribe, and come back and see me again real soon. And please, by all means, leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.